hope there's pudding. Hello witches, wizards, muggles and nomadges. Welcome back to another video on the Lunar Diaries. In today's video we are going to be doing a haul video, a wizarding world of Harry Potter haul. Plus some extra bits I brought whilst I was in America. I've been back from America for nearly two weeks and if you haven't seen it already I already posted a video of my time at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I will link it down below so you can go and check it out after you've seen this video if you'd like to. I think this video is going to get long enough so I'm just going to get straight into it. I've got a lot of stuff here and I just want to get through it all and show it to you. Unfortunately I had to take off a lot of my price tags for things when I was packing and I had to take a lot of stuff out of boxes because I didn't have enough room in my suitcase and it went over the weight limit. It was a bit of a nightmare but I managed to bring it all home. So when we first walked through the walls of Diagon Alley, I rushed straight to the nearest shop to your right, which I think is Quality Quidditch Supplies. I knew I wanted to purchase something to do with Quidditch, whether it was something to do with a snitch or one of the balls or just a banner with Chudley cannons on. Like I just knew there was something in there that I wanted. The first thing I saw that caught my eye was this. This is a quaffle, if you didn't already know, which I'm sure all of you do. I really liked the packaging, I thought it was really sort of like authentic. It was $21.95 without tax. My next purchase, which was the Snitch. I don't know if you can see it or if it's super duper shiny and it's just showing you my camera. Yes, I think it is. This was $18.95 without tax. You can kind of see it there without the reflection. Now I really liked this as well. I really liked the two of these together. I was going to get the Beaters Bat set, but it seemed like really plasticky and really sort of, I don't want to say childlike, but it kind of did a little bit, which I was a little bit disappointed because I would have liked to have got it all, to be honest. These were the first two things I brought when I walked through into Diagon Alley, so as silly as they are, and the fact that they're Quidditch supplies, they're kind of special because they're the first two things I purchased in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now the next shop I went into, which was right next to Quality Quidditch supplies, supplies was the Weasley shop and these purchases have to be my favourite of the lot and I'm sure you'll see why in a moment. This big boy was my next purchase at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and when I saw him I was so sure on him I fell in love like Rose fell in love with Jack on the Titanic and I knew this one was for me. Draco was like, are you going to be okay getting that home on the plane? And I am very proud to say I carried my Pygmy Puff on the plane with me. He was my pillow on my nine hour flight home and ah, I just love him. I was very good because I knew I was gonna do a haul when I got home so I tried to keep as many of the prices on as possible. He was $34.95 so, without tax so he wasn't too expensive considering the big size of him and the squishiness and the love that fills him. The size comparison with my head, he is just so big. I haven't got a name for him yet so if any of you have any ideas let me know in the comments because we were being a bit mean and when we were in our hotel we were calling him Big Mac like from McDonald's because he's so big but I feel really mean about calling him Big Mac and I don't want him to have issues with his weight because to be honest Everybody is lovely no matter what body size they are and I don't want to call him Big Mac anymore. <laughs> Next thing I'm about to show you is something I actually went back to get the second time we went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, my friend got one and I already have this colour and size of Pygmy Puff but these Pygmy Puffs now make noise and by noise I mean the cutest noise you can fathom. I brought another Pygmy Puff and this one still has its tag on him as well and he was $18.95. Get ready for cuteness overload. To make the Pygmy Puff make noise you kind of have to squish him which, which feels incredibly mean but there we go. Ready? He's 
suddenly brought tears to my eyes. I don't know why I'm obsessed with these little fluffy balls, but that's actually made my eyes a bit watery. It's just so cute. Yes, to those of you pygmy puff lovers who didn't already know, pygmy puffs now make noises and they're the cutest. The next thing I brought were also pygmy puff themed, but I would like to personally meet the genius that thought to create these because, oh my goodness, pygmy puff slippers. What genius thought this idea up because I would seriously like to give him a hug, but I made a fatal error. I was so excited by these slippers that I picked up an adult large. I think they would still fit me because overall slippers generally do and to be honest I buy things more for collection purposes so it doesn't really matter but that'll teach me not to get too excited and just buy whatever I see and pick it up in future. Pick Me Puff slippers were $26.95. They are the cutest. The next thing I brought we also picked up on our second trip to Harry Potter World, as I'm going to call it now because I keep calling it the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and it's just so long so we're just going to call it Harry Potter World for the sake of this video. I was umming and ahhing about this, not because I didn't want it, but because I wanted it so much but I didn't know if it would fit in my suitcase or if it would be too heavy. It's going to be really hard to show you this so you're just going to have to bear with me. Don't know if you saw that, but hopefully you did, and it is a pygmy puff blanket. Let that sink in for a moment. A pygmy puff blanket. And not just any blanket, the most fairy blanket you've ever felt in your whole wizarding life. I saw this blanket, I was just thinking, I am so blessed to be a Potterhead, I am so blessed to be alive, I am so blessed to have read these books, and I am so blessed to have witnessed such a beautiful sight such as this. I don't know if I've said this already but if I didn't the blanket was $39. One of the next things I brought which I just had to as soon as I saw it was this. It is a Triwizard Cup. It is the plasticky toy version but I just thought it was so awesome as well. It didn't matter to me and apparently you're supposed to be able to use it as a drink. You're supposed to be able to take the lid off like such, if I can do it, and you're meant to use this as a cup. I would never use this as a cup, but you're supposed to. That's just awkward. You do not use the Triwizard Cup as a cup to drink your beverages out of, but I really like it. Even though it's kind of plasticky, I just I really like the detail on it. I just think it's really, really cool. Pop it all off, it lights up at the bottom as well, and it's just super super cool I really love it and it was $19.95 and I would definitely recommend getting this I think it was really worth its money. Draco also brought me a lot of things on this trip which I was super grateful for so thank you Draco. Draco brought me this galleon set and you have a galleon, a sickle and a nut which is wizard's money. I'm sorry if you can only see my camera and my curtains, I'm trying to show you. You get the general idea, maybe if I open it, just don't want them to fall out. Is that a little bit better? So I think this is a galleon, and this is a sickle, and this is a nut. I could be wrong. It is a part of the Noble Collection, which is really, really cool, and it was, let me just check the price. $29.95 without tax and it's really really pretty. I also brought these super cool beakers in a set of the Hogwarts houses. All of them together were $14.95 and you get a Slytherin one, a Hufflepuff one, oh god this is going to be hard, a Ravenclaw one and oh my gosh okay. I've made bad life decisions. <laughs> yeah. The price is still on it, so you'll have to excuse that. But yes, I thought these were super, super cool. There we go. 
it's really hard to hold them all to show you but you get the general idea and also when we went into honey dukes we stole lots of these bags which are sweet bags that you're supposed to fill up sweets with but we did ask the lady if we could take some just because I kind of sent draco to do it though because slytherin I also want to make a point to say in this video I brought tons and tons of sweets in the wisdom world but I'm going to do a separate video on them. This is an empty box now because I'm planning on keeping the packaging and eating the chocolate. I'm going to do a separate video on all of the wisdom world chocolate but look how cool this packaging is it's so awesome. This next item is a really random buy it is the Americans Sorcerer's Stone or as we call it Philosopher's Stone but as they call it the Philosopher's the Sorcerer's Stone, I'm getting confused. I really like their book covers and I just wanted to get one of them. This book was $26.99 and I really, really like it. Another thing I brought was this little train. I really, really liked it. It was $12.95 and it's just a little pullback train, but I really, really like it. I wanted to get the Ford Angular. I can't say that car's name. You, you guys know the car, Ford Angular. But it was like covered in dirt and kind of like emphasised after the Whomping Willow had had its way with it. And I didn't really like that. I wish they kind of just made the design just as pretty as this little train. I'm hoping to get a little car to put with it. My next purchase was one of my last minute purchases I actually got at Orlando International Airport in the Universal Store which I'm so glad I did because it's turned out to be one of my favourite purchases of the whole trip and I brought Dobby! Some Dobby dolls or figures can actually be pretty, um, not ugly because I don't like to use that word but um, not very attractive, let's use that word but this Dobby, I mean look at that face already, he is so cute! Dobby is a free elf. Dobby is not a free elf, he's my elf. But I love him and I won't beat him like the Malfoys did. Dobby was $29.95 and I absolutely love him. He's really, really good quality. And he's got that metal wire in him so you can kind of position his legs and, oh, that looks a bit uncomfortable. Let's not do that, Dobby. We'll just stand you up. But yeah, oh, I've done something to his leg. But look how cute he is. The next thing I brought was also something I brought at International Airport's Universal Store. It was such a random purchase but something about it really drew me in and I had to buy it and it's like a plushy chocolate frog on top of an actual chocolate frog box. I just really like it, I don't know why. It was $21.95 and I just really like him. One of the things that me, Draco and the other friend we went with all brought was this, this beautiful frame. I did think it was going to be a little bit bigger because I saw it online before I went and I was thinking I have to get this and I think we're all thinking the same but it is really really beautiful. It's like a wooden brown frame and it's got the Hogwarts castle here and um, I think we're all going to be putting a picture of ourselves outside Hogwarts inside and it was $26.95 and it is really really pretty. Next item is something Draco brought me again. I don't think we brought it in Hot Topic in Florida Mall. I think it was like another geeky store. I really can't remember which isn't helpful at all and I'm really sorry because I wanted this video to be informative but we did buy a you Harry Potter bits in Florida Mall and Draco brought me this. I brought Draco a Slytherin cardigan and he brought me this, which is one of the new Harry Potter pops that comes with the train as well. You can't really see. Can you see the train inside with Harry on top? It's really hard to show you, but you get the gist with the outside image. This is kind of what it looks like. And the price of it was $28.90. I like all things with like the Hogwarts Express involved. I just find it really, really pretty. So I was really grateful when Draco brought me this. So thank you, Draco. I touched up on this briefly in one of my Cursed Child videos and I don't want to go into it too deeply. But next year I'm moving out of my London apartment into a big house. 
in this house I'm going to be having a room called the Luna Diaries office and in short it's basically going to be a Harry Potter room and it's not going to be a bedroom it's just going to be an office and I'm going to decorate it however I like and it's just going to be my space so this next purchase which was something Draco and I rent halves on for my room I'm going to try and show you it's in packaging still because I don't understand it I can't remember how much it was, it might have been like 40 or 60 dollars, I don't remember. But yeah, it's in its little paper stuff, so bear with me. But this is it, look how beautiful this is everyone. I'm sorry if this video is getting dark at all, it's because it's a really strange day in the UK where one moment it's really sunny and the next minute it's really rainy. I also kept this for memory, it was one of the cups we had butterbeer out of, I actually think this was frozen butterbeer. The last couple of bits I sort of brought in the Wizarding World itself were two scarves and I don't really know why I needed two scarves, especially as they're two Ravenclaw scarves. but. It was a thing that happened and money was spent and I don't have any regrets. I brought two Ravenclaw scarves. I kind of have a reason for buying two though, so bear with me. The first scarf I'm going to show you was $36.95 and it is, I guess, the Quidditch scarves, as you would call them. And it's, I'm going to try and show you, it's really cool. It's got Ravenclaw all along it and I'm actually going to keep this scarf to wear in winter. Now winter's approaching, I kind of wanted a scarf that I felt comfortable to kind of wear for a few months. I wanted a scarf for the winter that I could relax and just wear without worrying. So I brought this one for that reason. And the next scarf I brought was purely for Ravenclaw replica reasons. For some reason I didn't take the price off for the other one but I did for this one. This scarf was a little bit more expensive, it was $36 which I will keep for photo shoots and it is just the typical Ravenclaw one. It is my ice cream wrapper from when I had butterbeer ice cream and I'm not even joking that ice cream was the best ice cream I've ever had. Mm -mm -mm. Whilst I was in the Weasley shop I also picked up one of these cuties. It was $9.95 and really I just brought it for how cute it is because it is really adorable and I really like the little love potion design but apparently it has honey or syrup or something inside that you're supposed to slip into your tea but it's just so cute I couldn't not buy it. One of the things I really wanted to try when I went to Harry Potter World is pumpkin juice and needless to say I didn't like it. I think the flavour could work but it was a little bit too much for me. It did kind of make me feel a little bit sick after a few sips. It was very, very strong. If you're a big lover of pumpkins, it might be for you, but it was just a little bit too much for me. Needless to say, I really wanted to buy this drink just for the packaging. You really cannot go wrong with this packaging. I think it's like one of the best packaged things at the park. I just think it's so cool that it's got a big pumpkin on the top. Can't remember how much the pumpkin juice was. I think it was around $6. I might be wrong. The last thing I brought in the Wizarding World on the last time I went was this headband. I just really liked it. I wore my Luna costume for a little while in Harry Potter World which sounds crazy, I know, because I was absolutely melting. I posted the video, if you haven't seen it already, I will link it down below. Afterwards, I couldn't have got changed fast enough and I brought this and I wore this for the rest of the day and it's really, really nice. It's a Ravenclaw sort of school headband, I suppose. This headband was apparently $16 according to the Universal website, so I didn't really realise how much I paid for it, but yes, this was $16 tiny tiny little bit overpriced in my opinion for a headband it must have been one of those situations where i just grabbed and ran again and didn't look at the price which happened a lot don't do that i didn't think it would actually look right with luna but it looks really cute coming up to the last few things now and i warned you this video would be long the first thing i brought at all on this trip was this mug it's a hedwig mug i brought it from an american kind of supermarket kind of like the uk's tesco's or as style called walgreens i think this was like 13 dollars as 
I've sort of previously mentioned in other clips, we went to Florida Mall, which is a really big mall slash shopping center. We mainly went there to go to Hot Topic. And the main reason I wanted to go to Hot Topic is I've been going on about this cardigan for like two months it is just a Ravenclaw cardigan it's just typical thin cardigan material but it's got like the Ravenclaw patch on it which I really really like and yeah it's got some stripes on the arms and on the bottom it's this cardigan was $54.94 and so I picked up these socks which are like house socks which I thought was super cool they were $14.50 you get Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hogwarts Crest, which I found super cool, Hufflepuff, and of course, the lovely Ravenclaw. Last thing I'm going to show you, because this has got super long, and I'm sure you can tell the sun's going down outside, and I'm getting super dishevelled and tired. I can't tell you the price, because I actually wore this top home, so I had to take the label off. And then when I did a bit of research, I couldn't find it anywhere online, not even on the Hot Topic website. So I think I'm going to say it was around $14 to $20, somewhere around there. It's basically just a Quidditch top with Ravenclaw on it. It might be a bit dishevelled because I've worn it already, but yeah. One thing I've learned from today's video is I'm not very good at hauls because I find it really hard to show you things that I've brought and talk about them. And I'm really sorry about that because I wanted this video to be kind of like helpful and I feel like it's just been a bit of a mess. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you have any questions about any of the items I've shown, I will try and answer them if you leave a comment down below. If you have any questions about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, I'm probably more than likely able to answer them now. Let me know in the comments if you liked anything here in particular, or if you have anything that I've brought, or if you have a video from when you went to the Wizarding World, leave a link to it down below and I will watch it. I like looking down at the comments in my videos, I like reading what you guys have to say, so yeah. Don't be afraid to do that because it is just really nice for me to read and I do read them all. The video's already got long enough so I'm gonna go. If you stuck around for the whole thing, 100 points to whatever house you are. I also don't know if I mentioned it anywhere in my previous videos but I reached a thousand subscribers and I don't want to make a big big deal out of it because they're just numbers. What I value more is the love and support in a little community of tiny people I've started to make and I'm starting to recognise all of your faces and your names and it's really really nice and a thousand is just a number to me but it is a thousand people who do enjoy watching my videos so that has to mean something so thank you guys so much for helping me reach 1000 subscribers and by doing so it also opened up a door for me to work with a harry potter company with some of their merchandise which i won't say anymore but you will see more soon on this channel so i hope you're all well guys sorry for the length of this video all the links to my instagram my twitter and my facebook page for the lunar diaries are down below if you want to check them out and i'll see you all in the next video thank you for watching this video if you did like it give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to join the pygmy puff army and i'll see you all in the next video